This is an 83-year-old lady who presented this morning, about two hours ago, um, to the emergency uh, with um, acute type A dissection, the systolic, systolic blood pressure about 50. We put her on femoral femoral bypass. We haven't initiated the the, uh, the bypass yet. Um, now she has a quite dissected uh, aorta from the aortic root all the way down the descending. Um, and she's got tamponade as well. So we're going to open up the pericardium uh, in a moment. So she needs aortic root replacement. She's 83. Um, and we will just do a hemi arch replacement and get her out of the problem. Now she has been taking a pizza band. So uh, we just have to be very careful with the female spaces. A touch and go situation for a lady like this. Um, now she's got torrential aortic regurgitation on a CT scan, the uh, ACME aorta. Um, is quite bruised and very traumatized and obviously and I was worried about uh, frank rupture when we open this. So if we open the pericardium and she ruptures, we'll put her on bypass straight away by the groin and uh, I need to uh, put a cross clamp on the ascending aorta so that um, stop her from exsanguinating um, but hopefully it is a contained rupture so we're happy to time um, to get her more prepared for this operation is always more difficult to manage rate piece if it's acute rupture we had a couple of patients like that you know made to the theater we'll open up the pericardium and everything just poof. So, give a second drop in. All right, um, we're going to. Can I have the time circuit? Yeah, okay. Ready? Wait a second one. Oh. No, just keep going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, opening up the pericardium, just going to let a bit of blood out. Pump circuit on. Yeah, pump circuit on. Pump circuit out. Is there a clot in it? Yeah, a little bit of clot. Cell side up? Yeah, cell side we're going... It's complicated, it's not that. It's actually a little bit. Because obviously it's under a bit of pressure. So, when we... Uh, if the pressure goes up too high, we have to go on bypass to bring her out. I think she will be okay. So I'm going to keep her opening up. I don't think she will rupture. It's not a bit of it. I hope not. up the fiber pericardium. Now this is a very traumatized ethene iota. I'm so glad we got her here because you know she was clearly hemodynamically compromised. Okay, Johnny, can you see? This is the ascending aorta. Mm -hmm. It's always bruised more between the aorta and pulmonary artery. Yeah. That's why it's contained it's rupture here. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. So, she's got torrential AR. Uh, is ACT okay? We can go on. Going on the bypass, she just ruptured. Yeah, no. Have you got a venous drainage? Um, no. So she just had a. Yeah. Okay. Arthur, please. Everything's open on my end. Okay. We're going to put a cross climber. 
We're gonna put a cross clamp on ascending aorta. That's good, that's okay. You got a flow? Okay. Just control your pressure, I don't want to burst on my end. Okay, that's okay. Cross clamp, please. Cross clamp. Cross clamp. Okay, are you on? I'm on, I'm not That's okay. I'm going to cross clamp the ascending. Yep. Okay, cross clamp the ascending. Yep. See this piece? Venous drainage is okay? Not yet, no. I get it's better now. Yep. Is it better? Yeah. Do you have a pressure? I'm just turning the flows up now. Because actually, I have a flow. I'm not sure if this. Uh, so, do we have another way of measuring my um, pressure? So, I'm going to look down in. The right arm is not showing any pressure, but I do have flows. We do have flows. Three and a half. So yeah, I think it's your arterial line issue. Yeah, you got a pressure just there. Just move the right arm. And it went up briefly, didn't it? Flow is four. Okay. Can I have a vent, please? Nine, please? LV vent. Okay. Increase your venous drainage. Increase venous drainage. Yep. Okay, that's a great. Can I have a vent, please? It's a pressure of 40 now. Good. Vent? Vent? No. Vent. Okay, the vent is in the LV. Can we vent the LV? Vent the LV. Is that the blue? Okay, don't drag it out. Red. Red, which is the gray. Red. Okay, red is on. Now, cardioplegia flush forward now. See this, please? Stack on the vent. Red is on. Red is on. Are you red is on? Answer me. Is the red on? The red is on. Okay, good. I need a cardioplegia right now. Okay, I need an osteo cannula for the for the for the coronary. Osteo cannula coming. Thank you. Okay, suck in there with the outside. Dude, pressure's 50. Yeah, it's good. Down, we'll just control down. that. We'll cool down. Cool down. Okay, we're going to stop the... Uh, suck in there. Suck in there. What do you want me to stop? Okay. Let's keep going. 20, 20, 20, 20 degrees. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So. Pages up from the ground. Turn it off. Okay. Okay. okay, osteo cannula. So open up the iota now, watch out the clot. Mm -hmm. Don't disturb the clot. Mm -hmm. So systemic perfusion, I'm happy with whatever you've got here. I'm okay. going to rest the heart, show me here, show me inside. Okay, all right, cardioplegia, cardioplegia. Right forward, the cardioplegia now. I'm going to give some to the left main. Okay, suck in here. Stop there. Stop. Okay, go. Left main. Okay, right. Okay, give 70% to the left main. Okay. Okay, that's good. So we're in a control situation now. So we're going to rest the heart like this. And, uh... Patient, patient. Yeah. Well, that's okay. I've already yeah. stopped, but uh, yeah, I think it means the cardioplegia is working. <laughs> okay, so we are on bypass, we are cross plant diode, and we have a drainage through the superior pulmonary vein vent, and resting the heart, we're pulling down to 20 degrees, and we're going to resolve this situation once we uh, achieve uh, some hemodynamic stability. Okay, that's fine. We're just pressing on it. Okay. Don't disturb the clock, okay? Excuse me.
Thanks. Okay, that's good. So we're given the cardioplegia, we're just examining the root, obviously. This is the valve, this is all hematoma contained. Okay, can remove this hematoma. Okay, can I have a ray back please? Obviously, this part of the operation is just make sure the clot doesn't get into the heart. So that's the clot. And we'll put a little swab in there, so that will prevent it from retrograding into the aortic root. And then we're just going to clean this out now. So when we just went down the bypass, what happened is, uh, sorry, when we opened the pericardium, the blood pressure went up because we released the tamponade. And uh, as soon as we did that, we can see uh, the rupture was no longer contained, which is coming out of the pericardium. All the blood is coming out of the pericardium, so she was having a frank rupture. That's why I had to go on femoral bypass, which was already established. <coughs> cross-clamped aorta and arrest the heart um, and we're in a much better control situation now so the first step of this while we're cooling is mobilize the root we're going to do a root replacement because the dissection is all the way down to to the root and uh, here is we split from behind that's where the rupture is Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to do a root replacement while we're cooling, and then we'll do the address the distal yeah. with a um, you know, circulatory arrest and the selective anti-gross area All right, so scissors, please. Thank you. Holding now, we've just done the root implantation with a uh, bento procedure with a tissue valve, 23 tissue valve, and 25 valsalva graft with this um, French cuff technique. We've done the proximal here. I'm going to re-implant the coronary arteries after we've done the uh, distal aortic repair. Um, so we're cold. We've, we're ready to uh, switch off the circulation and then uh, provide antibody cerebral perfusion. Uh, my plan is to do a, um, a hemiarch, which is uh, 80, 83. Uh, and uh, once we've done the distal, we'll join the two graphs together. So everything is quite bruised. We can see a tear in the uh, distal ascending aorta. That's where the aorta gave and uh, had a frank rupture. Okay, can I have a tap long dot, please? Thank you. Thank you. Right. Here. Slow down. Turn off. Turn off. Okay. So systemic circulation is off. Yeah. CO2 is going. Mm -hmm. yeah, on. Okay. Now, lead back to you. Okay, blow back to you. See this, this long? Suck all, on all the suckers. Okay, we're gonna have a look to make sure we're not disturbing any clots again. Because this arch is very safe to Now keep on sucking. So don't cut until we know what we're cutting. <laughs> So here is the tear, right there, see, mm -hmm. it's yep. completely torn. So we we'll try to exclude the primary tear, which I can see very well here in the proximal arch. Um, and that's where the problem is. I look at the right at this level, which is not surprising. Uh, she ruptured it into a pair of Now there's quite a bit of calcium tension here as well. Hopefully we can get around this calcium. Yeah. It's all dissected. Mm -hmm. Watch out the clock. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, surgery. Now we'll just make sure we don't dislodge any of the clot material to the brain. This is the primary tear, completely torn off here. And uh, I just show that again. Uh, I just uh, just take one. I just cut along the tear there. Okay. No. 
I'm going to refashion the disco loop, disco osmosis. It's going to be a sandwich technique. Okay. Now, platform felt inside and outside. This will provide some strength. Dive me, please. So I'm going to put the Teflon inside, Teflon outside, and to reconstruct this iota. Once I've done that, um, we're going to give some uh, antibiotics. So we have uh, finished the uh, type A aortic dissection repair for this lady. She has an uh, um, aortic root replacement with a 23mm tissue valve and 28mm uh, valsalic graft and uh, also under a period of uh, circulatory rest a selective antigrowth cerebral fusion we, we performed uh, open distal anastomosis reconstructing um, the dissected iota distally we put in a 26 millimeter anti-flow graph and then join the two graphs together so we're just controlling the hemostasis um, we have given some products um, and there's nothing surgically uh, that I can fix we're just waiting for the uh, blood products to work and she had a pixabay she's been on a pixabay on presentation so uh, we'll be here for a while. I think we will put three drains in. Um, so far, so good. Um, we just feel she's quite lucky. Um, as you remember, when we went down peripheral cannulation uh, bypass, she uh, ruptured and uh, we got on top of her quickly and uh, stabilized her. So overall, uh, has been a very satisfactory result. Hopefully she will do well.